Hello gang, Kim here and welcome on back to my happy place. In today's video I am going to be doing a very exciting unboxing and the reason that I say it's exciting is because this is a new to me diamond painting company. This diamond painting company is called the one with the diamond art. It's the first order I've ever placed with them. Um, this is the box. This is how it arrived. I did order two kits. So there are two kits in this one box. But for today's video, I'm only going to be doing an unboxing of one kit. I will do the second unboxing when I come to actually working on that painting. So as you can see, this is the box that arrived in. It feels pretty heavy. It does look a little bit banged and bashed up, um, but nothing too serious. You know, here on the bottom, you can see the boxes is not in the best condition. But, I mean, that's obviously not serious, provided everything inside the box is fine and in good order, which we're about to see now because I haven't even opened this box, then I'll be a happy camper. So, as always, I'm going to unbox the contents of this box. I'm going to get everything on the table and then we can carry on further with this unboxing. Okay guys, there you have it. The box is officially unboxed <laughs> and the contents are on the table now. So let's kick off and have a look what we've got. So firstly included in the box obviously was a business card. So this is just thanking us or as a customer for our support. And then obviously the Facebook details and website details are over there. Then there was also just a sticker included, the one with the diamond art. Then obviously you get your toolkit. Now the toolkit came in this orange bag. I've unbagged it so that we can have a look. This is a round roll painting, but even having said that, a pair of tweezers was included. You obviously get your pen with your single placer. You get a squishy to go onto the pen. And then over here, you have red wax. It looks like some more wax in this container. There are two multi-places and, and a basic tray. Unfortunately, these multi-places are the thick ones. Um, I don't know if you guys use the thick ones. I personally don't use the thick ones. I actually just end up throwing them out. Um, the, the newer way of using multi-places is to use the skinny multi-places. They are much easier to work with. So, yep, those two multi-places, unfortunately, I will be throwing out. But look at this. There was washi tape included. And that is always nice to get because I do use washi tape. So overall, a pretty decent toolkit. Um, I like that they include washi tape. That's really awesome. I don't like that they give us thick multi-places but that's okay I have a lot of multi-places so no major issue with that and then guys we have our drills so we will get into this in a second but have a look at that piece of art isn't it just that fox just so cute this like I said is a round drill painting I will open this up just now a little bit further into the unboxing and then we will have a look at all of that but for now, let's have a look at the canvas because I haven't even had a look at it yet. So to start off with, this is a very velvety soft canvas. I can see here it has scalloped edges, scalloped edges with poked holes um, to avoid fraying and so that you don't get bits of cotton onto your canvas. Now, let's turn this over and have a look. Oh, sweet. That looks so nice. <laughs> okay, let's just do a pan. Or let me just push the canvas up and down so that you can have a closer look at the image. So this is a fox surrounded by flowers. Yeah, this one looks like it's going to be very fun to do. Okay, so some more about the canvas. In the top right-hand corner here is the thumbnail image. So there you can get a closer look at the art. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Then here on the top right, you have your legend. I can see now that there are, let's just have a look, there are 40 colors. I'm presuming this A and D, 
at the bottom here are maybe ABs. Those must be ABs. Um, just so that you know, there is also a legend here in the bottom left. At the top of the canvas is just the, the wording, the one with the diamond art. And then here are the stats. You can see that this canvas is a 50 by 60 centimeter canvas with AB drills. I did order ABs. You do have a choice. When you order from this company, you can choose ABs or no ABs. I'm not the hugest fan of ABs, but because this was the first time trying this company, I decided to choose some ABs. Um, <clears throat> and then obviously in the bottom right hand side here, you have their social media details. And what is this? Okay, so this is just more detail about this piece. Okay, so now about this piece of art. So the artist of this piece is called Finera. She is actually on Instagram. She is a digital artist, and so she renders or designs AI art. This piece is called Floral Kitsuni, and there again you can see it's a 50 by 60. So this is my favorite artist on the website at the moment. She just has art that absolutely speaks to me. I love her art. Her and I have actually been on touch or in touch on Instagram and we've had a few chats. She seems like a lovely lady. Like I say, all her designs are AI art and I am personally a massive fan of AI art. I design art myself and I just find that a lot of images that AI artists are coming out with just really appeal to me. So if you like the look of this, obviously, then head over to the website and check her out. I will put a link below to the one with the Diamond Arts website. And on there, there is a way of searching either by genre. So for example, fantasy, animal, etc. Or you can search by artist. So like I say, look out for Fenira. She has some amazing art. Okay, so back to the canvas. As you guys can see, this is a poured glue canvas. It has the clear see-through cover. In 99.99% of cases, when there is a clear cover, it is poured glue. Now, the great thing with that is it means you can roll this canvas backwards. You can hang it over an easel. You can work with it. You can move it around, and you are not going to damage it. So when this canvas came out of the box, it was obviously rolled up. And it did start to flatten out quite easily. I did roll it backwards just to make sure that it was 100% flat. Right. So I think let me now just take out the, um, well, I should say sticker sheet, but I can see from here it isn't a sticker sheet. It's a, paper, a piece of paper with the, uh, the symbols and all the rest. So let me take that out and then we can have a look at that. Okay, guys, so there you go. There's the piece of paper with the photograph of the art, also the size of it, um, 50 by 60, as I've said. And then here is obviously the legend with all the symbols and so on, all the way down to 40, with the last two obviously being what I presume are the ABs. I'm just showing this to you so that you can get a feeling for the type of symbols that they use. What I am enjoying is have a look at that. A one is a one. A two is a two. A three is a three. And so on. Now, I really appreciate that because with so many diamond painting companies, including the big popular ones, one might be 27 and two might be a heart, and then three might be 46, and that is very confusing. So I love that these, you know, the numbers match. So that is very easy to then place your drills on the canvas. So you obviously get the DMC number, you get the quantity of drills and the weight in grams. So obviously this is not a sticker sheet. I think you can see this is just a piece of paper. So that's a pity. I do much prefer to have stickers. I think all of you do. I don't have a sticker maker, and so I will need to just cut these out and put them onto my containers. Is that a train smash? No, obviously not. Lots of companies still do this. Lots of companies don't necessarily, you know, give you a sticker sheet. But when they do look to upgrade at some point, it would be nice if they would consider that as part of their upgrades. 
Right, so now let me pull the camera down very close to the canvas so that we can start having a look at the symbols, the clarity, seeing if anything looks problematic. Okay, so now the camera is very, very close to the canvas so that we can have a look at the symbols. So the first things to note, obviously, is that this is round drills and there are guide circles. But to my naked eye, the guide circles are a little bit lighter than some others I've seen recently. The other thing that I like on this canvas is that the symbols are either black or white. So if the background is very dark, like over here, you can see these V's. It's obviously a, a black or very dark brown background. Then the symbols have been printed in white. So that makes all of this very clear. I can see that easily. Over here, mm, it's, it's clear. It's clear without being crystal clear. You mustn't forget a camera lens does act as a magnifying glass and it does make looking at the image in front of you clearer. So when I look at this through the camera, I can see clearly that this symbol is a line and so on. But with the naked eye, some here are not, I mean, I can see what they are. It's, it's not a massive problem. It's maybe not as clear as I would like. Here are some of the, um, the percentage signs. Through the camera again, that looks quite clear with the naked eye. It is clear. It's just, I, I need to look quite closely at it. Um, the other thing I'm noticing is the confetti. Can you guys see? <laughs> this is a very, very heavy confetti canvas. I think everything here in frame at the moment is just pure confetti. And as I look here, sorry, I'm just panning you across. Yep, this is going to be confetti, confetti, confetti. <laughs> Um, I'm just having a look further at symbol clarity. No, in general, you guys, I am very happy with the symbol clarity. I can see the symbols. Some of them, like here, you know, the background is quite dark, but yet the symbol has been printed in black. Um, you know, can you see along this color? It's like a very dark orange and the symbol is in black. I would have put those symbols in white. Because I don't find or feel those are standing out very much. I think I would have preferred them in white. Again, through the camera lens, fairly easy to see with the naked eye. I need to strain just a tad to make sure and, you know, identify that that is in fact a T. I always use a light pad. I think I've mentioned that to you guys before. And so hopefully with the light pad on, these will stand out a little bit clearer. But in general, I'm happy. There's no blurring. There's no doubling of, of um, symbols, you know, where the printer has had a little bit of an oopsie. There's none of that. It all looks very clear. So in general, I'm very happy with it. The only things to note are that some symbols do require a closer look and that obviously they are guide circles. So we will have to see how those turn out. I don't personally have a problem with guide circles. I never have. I know some people hate them. But let's see. Let's see when I do my post review if the guide circles were a problem or not. And the third thing to note, obviously, is this is going to be an extremely confetti heavy canvas. And so I'm fairly glad that I got it in this slightly smaller size. A 50 by 60 for me is a slightly smaller size. I normally work on canvases bigger than this. But when there's a lot of confetti like this, then I'm glad that I got it in this size. Okay, so let me pan back out and then we are going to take a look at the drills. The drills are on your screen now and I haven't taken each and every bag out of the packet because they're just so nicely <laughs> sort of packaged in here that I'm not sure I want to upset the apple cart. But I suppose, I mean, I suppose I'm going to be kitting it up shortly so I can. Let's have a look at just a few of these drills and see what we think. So that is the 350. Now, this is the second time I'm seeing a company where they actually give you the um, weight of the grams on the bag. So there you can see 1.73 grams. So as we look at these drills, they are looking pretty good. I'm not picking up on any issues there. Okay, let's try and maybe take out 
a slightly lighter color. So, I mean, obviously, another thing to note, guys, is that these drills come in the Ziploc bags, which are so much easier to use than those crinkly plastic packets. Some people claim that these Ziploc bags cause more static, but we'll have to see once I actually, you know, start kitting this up. So here are some lighter colored drills. I'm just having a look at them with you. Yep, I'm happy. These drills look to be extremely good quality. If I'm noticing anything, it's perhaps... I don't know if they look like they're sparkling quite as much as some drills do. This lighter pink is actually looking quite nice and sparkly. Let me have a look at another color. Let's take a... That's the gray. That's a gray sort of color. Yeah, it makes it hard to see. On the darker colors, it makes it hard to see the quality of the drills. Let's try this yellow. Oh, they're looking good, guys. The undersides of the drills look like they've got little dimples in the middle of them. But I don't think that's going to be a problem. Um... I'm just noticing that on the drills. Some of the drills are totally flat on the bottom, but some of them have a dimple on the bottom as well. But it's just a dimple there. I can see one right in the middle of the drill, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. And just superficially, I'm also interested to see how much these drills sparkle or don't sparkle. So I think in general, this is looking positive to me. Things are looking good. I'm happy with a lot about this canvas. I have maybe one or two just slight little things that are in my head that hopefully are going to um, not be issues. I really do hope, obviously, that the drills are sparkly. I hope the little dents in the bottom of them are not an issue. I don't think they are going to be an issue. I think there's enough of the flat base of the drill to sit down nicely on the canvas. Yes, and in general, I'm looking really forward to working on this one. I do like the fact that the drills are individually bagged, that they're so nicely labeled, and that they come in the Ziploc bags. And yes, I'm looking forward to it. Slightly nervous maybe about the amount of confetti, but overall, this looks like it's going to be a good company. And obviously, when you find an artist like I have with Venera, whose art I love, then it's great to know there is a company that is selling her art correctly and it's all legally licensed and so on in conclusion then gang this new to me company looks very promising i'm going to do a last pan up and down just for you to have a last look at this canvas i really am looking forward to working on it um, and hopefully getting my post review up in the next month or two i'm working on quite a few diamond paintings at the moment I have quite a lot kitted up and so this isn't going to be done anytime soon but the nice thing is it does have only 40 colors which for me is plenty I don't need more than 40 colors I've told you guys before the minute I see a lot of colors it puts me off straight away so I'm very happy that this is 40 colors and yes guys what do you think are you interested in trying this company? Do you like this specific art? Have you tried this company already? And what did you think? What were your experiences? Please do comment below because I love to chat to you guys and hear from you. And other than that, gang, I think it's time for me to just wish you happy diamond painting. Bye, guys. Uh -huh.